The following is a Bell to Bell B2B audio production. Bell to Bell is one of 50 plus trusted brands within the investor brand network, IBN. And here today is your host, Stuart Smith. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here once again at the Investor Brand Network, and we have a new company to introduce to you today. I want you to go to Investor Brand Network, click on the Clients tab, and they're in alphabetical order. You will find Cub Crafters. I also want to have you check out their beautiful website, which is exactly that, Cub Crafters. Dot com. We've got investment considerations, a full profile of the company, and we're speaking today with Brad Dom. He is the VP of Sales and Marketing. Brad, thanks so much for joining us today. How are you? Uh, doing excellent. Glad to be here. Great to have you. So for our listeners, since we're introducing your company to a new audience today, let's talk about the business model and the market that you operate in first. Tell us a little bit about the company, Brad. Cub Crafters is an aircraft manufacturer located in Washington State, and we build bush planes, the type of planes that you would see on floats or pontoons in the Alaska backcountry. Oftentimes, they're big tires that are called Tundra tires that we use, or we can go off airport. We can land in anything from a cow pasture to a ridge top. These airplanes can do about 80 or 90% of what a helicopter can do at about a tenth the cost. Mm. Well, it's a big market too. And look at these investment considerations here at Investor Brand Network. Scroll down to the final bullet point. The global ultralight and light aircraft market was valued at $7.63 billion in 2021 and is expected to grow at a CAGR of 4.5% from 2022 to 2027 to reach a forecast value of $9.93 billion. I'll be honest with you, Brad, before this interview and digging into this profile, I wasn't I wasn't aware there was such a market for this. And you are ideally located, obviously, there in Yakima, Washington. Uh, you guys are a stone's throw from getting over to Alaska. So this market, has it exploded in the past decade or two? Or has this always been kind of a consistently growing market over the past 30 years or so? It, it really has exploded. The airplanes have always been used for utility, for delivering mail to remote communities, for medevac missions, for search and rescue, for law enforcement. What's really changed in the last 10 or 20 years is people have come in to this type of flying for recreational purposes, for fun, to access the backcountry where you can fly into the Idaho wilderness and land on a remote airstrip and be you know, dozens or hundreds of miles away from anyone and uh, have that have that country, that access all to yourself. Or if you have a cabin on a remote lake and you can take one of these airplanes, you can put it on pontoons, on floats, you can land on the water, taxi up to your dock and have that sort of access. People have really enjoyed and appreciated that. The airplanes have gotten easier to fly. Uh, there's more performance. They're safer than ever before. And what we also found is that during COVID, the market really grew because people weren't spending money doing group fun sorts of things. International travel got really curtailed. So people came and looked at this as a bucket list item that they'd never been able to do before. It's something that uh, you can do by yourself. It's something you can do with one other person. You're not around crowds. And because of that, uh, there's a whole bunch of new people that came in over the last couple of years, but it has been growing over the last 20 years. That's exciting. And uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time snapping back to reality. I'm still in my uh, new bucket list item, which is my private cabin on my private lake that I pull up in my private plane. So uh, good job at being v VP of sales and marketing on that one. Let's learn more about the management team because currently Cub Crafters enjoys a dominant market share of the rugged adventure airplane market. To capture that market share, you've got to have a great team. Let's learn about yourself, Brad. And of course, the president and CEO of the company, Patrick Horgan. Tell us about the whole team. Yeah, myself, I've been, I've been uh, flying these airplanes for well, between 25 and 30 years. Started uh, taking flight lessons back when I was in college. The outdoors always appealed to me. I was actually a forest management major at Oregon State University and did this recreationally for many years. About 10 years ago, I was looking for a career change and moved over to the aviation side of the world, still doing my core competencies of building high-performing sales teams. So that's where I come from. Really happy to be here at Cub Crafters. It's a great company to work for. We're in a great industry. 
Um, it's all been positive. Pat Horgan, he has been in aviation all of his entire life. Uh, he started out in big heavy iron, designing brake systems on uh, Boeing 777, I believe, was uh, one of his first jobs. And he was also part of the design team for the landing gear for the F-18 Hornet. And then because of his passion for general aviation, for the small airplanes, for the private owners, he moved over to this side of the industry as well. He was general manager at uh, Waco Classic Aircraft. They make really fun biplanes for a number of years and then came to Come Crafters later on. I believe he's been here at Cub Crafters uh, probably eight years. And he started as director of engineering and product development and has uh, moved up to president and CEO of the company. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, go to Investor Brand Network, scroll down, look at the education of these guys, look at the experience of this team, look at how they are almost all of them, their lives have been in the Pacific Northwest, right where this company is. So looking back on 2022, because just like every year, it seems like it's already, you know, summers are already almost over. We're almost into fall. We're eight months into 2022. As you look back on this year, Brad, what do you see as some of the operational achievements, possibly some of the milestones for the company that you've been able to achieve this year? Our biggest challenge in 2022 has been supply chain issues that were related to COVID. Uh, the whole entire industry has been facing these sorts of issues, and we've been really fortunate that we've been able to overcome them. But there's been times when engines have been hard to get. There's been times when brakes have been hard to get. We've actually managed to accelerate our manufacturing during this time period of supply chain challenges because the customer demand has been there. And that may not sound like much, uh, but in this business environment, being able to build more airplanes faster and keep our quality uh, has been a huge challenge and it's a huge accomplishment. The other big thing that we did in 2022 is uh, we opened the company to outside public investment for the first time in its 42-year history. This is a process that's been in place for many years. We started looking at a doing a public offering about three years ago. We partnered up with a company called Manhattan Street Capital to guide us through the process of doing a public offering. And we're doing a pub public offering under the Regulation A exemption, which is designed for small companies to be able to go direct to investors and offer investors the offering price to invest in the company. So that's happening for the first time. We're in a reservation period right now. Potential investors can reserve shares at the offering price. And once our offering has been qualified to the SEC, they'll be able to convert those reservations into actual purchase of preferred stock in Cup Crafters. It's been going incredibly well. I think we're just over two weeks into it and we're already past 25% of our planned raise of $50 million. So investors have been really excited about investing in cup crafters they've been excited about reserving stock in the company and that's going extremely well that's our other big accomplishment for this year yeah absolutely and what a great time for you to be taking a look let me give you that website it's manhattanstreetcapital.com forward slash cub crafters so easy to find because there's a link under the additional resources at Investor Brand Network. Uh, just click on the Reg A offering. It's your final bullet point there. So lots to learn about the company. A beautiful profile done by Manhattan Street Capital. Lots to learn about this company. So as we push forward, obviously you want to see this Reg A exemption get fully subscribed. That would be, I think, a goal for the company. Uh, operationally speaking, uh, as a company, uh, whether it's growth in your team, what do you have as some of your goals? goals for the company here in the remainder of 2022 and even into 2023? So for the remainder of 2022, we're, we've got a manufacturing backlog. Uh, we're sold out for all of 2022. We're sold out for all of 2023. We're sold out for almost all of 2024. I imagine that uh, the way sales are going right now, within a month or two, we'll be selling 2025 production positions uh, for people to buy new airplanes. And that's a blessing, but it's also something that we want to address is to reduce the time that it takes from when a customer places a deposit with us to when they get a new airplane. Optimally, that should be a year or less. And right now, we're in excess of two years. So continuing to improve our systems to be able to build airplanes faster to meet demand is our number one goal. Our number two goal 
is the company has grown so fast. We've put a ton of airplanes out in the field and our customer service and our customer support hasn't grown as fast as the rest of the company has. So we're making investments there too make parts more available, make service more available, get more trained technicians out in the field, all of those sorts of things to really, we're already a best of class company. We've got an awesome ownership experience, but we want to improve it even beyond where we are right now. Well, listeners, once again, we are speaking with Brad Dom. He is the VP and of sales and marketing for Cub Crafters out of Yakima, Washington. I want you to learn more about this company. We've given you some great resources to do so. Uh, I think the best one is go to ManhattanStreetCapital.com. Take a look at this reggae exemption offering for the company. Uh, exciting times for the company, as you've heard. The world that we live in is changing, and it's changing in such a way that plays into the sweet spot of this company. They're located strategically they've got a great management team with a seasoned background within this marketplace uh brad it's been wonderful listening to you and hearing from you and getting your insights on your company we expect great things from you and cub crafters here in 2022 and well beyond thanks for your time today brad oh i appreciate it thanks for having me and i'm gonna uh check out and uh Go work on getting some more airplanes out the door. <laughs> Outstanding. For Brad Dom, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for listening. This audio production is an original broadcast provided by Bell to Bell, B2B. And all rights are reserved. B2B is your primary destination for informative updates and exclusive interviews with executives operating in fast moving industries. We make market hours more informative with deep dives into the stocks on our watch list an in-depth examination of the trends guiding North American markets forward. Bell to Bell is another trusted brand under the Investor Brand Network, IBN. IBN may receive payments for corporate communication relations, as well as various press releases and social media solutions provided to its client partners. You should assume that officers and directors of IBN or financial analysts mentioned hold a position in and may intend to trade the securities for their own accounts. This interview is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell securities. Information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be or should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, investment in the featured company carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the company thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This audio interview by IBN is not purported to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from featured company and other sources, but not verified nor guaranteed by IBN as to completeness and accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. Please see our full disclaimers and disclosures at InvestorBrandNetwork.com.